clean hands because I wash them a lot. First of all, <clears throat> a spoonful of hot sauce. Make the tacos go down. I would taste these in front of you, but I make them all the time and I know that they're really amazing. So just trust me. Try that again. Hey pals, I'm Bjorn and this is the Cub Kitchen. Cub Kitchen is a show where I do crazy easy recipes in my underwear. This is kind of a part two for February of buffalo chicken. We made buffalo chicken last time. Now we're gonna take that buffalo chicken and put it into some tacos. So, buffalo chicken tacos. First off, I gotta thank my sponsor, Bearskin, for sponsoring the show. I'm wearing the awesome standard issue red boxer briefs. Available now, bearskin.com. Check them out, get a pair. They're very festive for February. They're very red, like love. All right, so let's get started on this taco. It's pretty easy. First of all, <clears throat> You need a couple of tools. Actually, you need no tools. You just need like plates and that's it. Maybe some serving things. Oh, I'm using a knife and a fork to cut up the chicken. So the ingredients you need for the buffalo chicken taco, you need all-purpose buffalo chicken that we made last week, Frank's hot wing sauce, the uh, ranch dressing, shredded cheddar cheese, shredded, <laughs> Shredded carrots, shredded purple cabbage, chopped celery, and then you need like some smaller tortillas for the tacos. That is all you need, so let's get started on it. First thing you gotta do is you gotta cut up your chicken. Take your chicken breasts and you cut them into small pieces. I just cut them into like little bite size. I do it similar to like I'm eating, just start cut little pieces and I put them in a container. Then what you do, take your remaining glaze that you had from your buffalo chicken and you pour it over them. Mix it up, they get all covered up in the sauce. Cool. All right, so now that you got your chicken cut up into small pieces and then more of the marinade on there and you just kind of mix it up. We can start assembling our taco. One twisty tie. All right, one big plate. Million plates today. All right, there we go. You wanna chop your celery into little tiny pieces. And then you also wanna chop your red cabbage so it's small pieces. Just do raw. You can just buy shredded carrot. You can just buy shredded cheddar. It's just shredded already. Free shred. Free shred, 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 whatever. All right, so first to take the ranch dressing and just give it a little drizzle. I don't know, draw an M or W, but with too many things. I probably, I mean, I probably should put it on top, but next, take a couple pieces of chicken and pour them in there using a fork, but then touching it. That's how I roll. A little bit of chicken, each one of these. What do I need? I'm just gonna touch them. I'm touching it anyways. Clean hands, because I wash them a lot. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Can you do a little cheddar or a lot, whatever. I like cheddar. I like cheese a lot. Did that before. And a little bit of chopped celery. A couple pieces on each one. They give it a nice little crunch. Don't overdo it on the carrots. Just a little bit of carrots on each. Then purple cabbage. This gives it some good color. This is a very colorful taco. Then I put a little bit more of the hot sauce on top. This is the best way to do it. Pour it into a spoon and then just drizzle it because otherwise you overdo it. A spoonful of hot sauce makes the tacos go down. About a spoonful or two on each, depending on how spicy you want them. All right, that's it. You're done. Assembled. The buffalo chicken taco, one of my staples. I gotta thank my sponsor, Bearskin, for sponsoring again. Go down to bearskin.com, pick up yourself a pair of these boxer briefs, the standard issue in red. Guys, thank you for watching, it's awesome. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, as well as comment, I wanna hear what you think. Make sure and check out my other videos here and here. You guys, make this taco, it's super good. It's really tasty. I've been Bjorn with the Cub Kitchen. Bye.